designing forms in HTML web pages. In your website, in case you want to get user input, forms are the way to go. Incorporating forms is the easy thing which you can learn in the following script. Collecting user input is the main aim of creating forms in HTML web pages. What would you generally use to input your information in any form? Most commonly, it would be a text field, submit buttons, radio buttons, reset button, login buttons, and so on. Let us take a look at how should we incorporate all of it in the form that you design in the HTML web page. The input element. How would you input information in the form? These input elements have some attributes such as radio button or submit button or the text input. Here is how we use input elements in the form. HTML body Heading to input your personal information heading to closed form name break input type is equal to double inverted comma text double inverted comma closed name is equal to double inverted comma first name double inverted comma closed break surname break input type is equal to double inverted comma text double inverted comma closed name is equal to double inverted comma last name double inverted comma closed closing form closing body closing html also note that the default width of a text input field is 20 characters this scripting is a simple form of input which you can alter based on the requirement of your website let us take a look at what else you can incorporate in the forms the next thing we are going to input is the radio button which would give you different options to choose from. Here you can see the changes in the form. Coding Select gender Break Input type is equal to inverted comma radio inverted comma closed Name is equal to inverted comma gender inverted comma closed value is equal to inverted comma male inverted comma closed checked male break input type is equal to inverted comma radio inverted comma closed name is equal to inverted comma gender inverted comma closed value is equal to inverted comma female inverted comma closed Female break. Input type is equal to inverted comma radio, inverted comma name is equal to inverted comma gender, inverted comma closed, value is equal to inverted comma other, inverted comma closed, other. Closing form, closing body, closing HTML. Once you are done with designing the form, the form has to be sent. That is, it has to be submitted. For that, we need to incorporate submit button. Incorporating submit button is half the work. Later, you will have to link it to the database so that the data gets updated with every click. Here, we use input type is equal to inverted comma submit inverted comma closed which is used to submit the data to a form handler which processes input data one can always specify form handler in action attributes after you click the button submit you will get this message the input values can be reset with reset button here is the code for how we can reset data in web page. Form action is equal to inverted comma action underscore page dot p. 
PHP inverted comma close. First name break. Input type is equal to inverted comma text inverted comma closed. Name is equal to inverted comma first name inverted comma closed. Value is equal to inverted comma vihan inverted comma closed break. Last name break. Input type is equal to inverted comma text, inverted comma closed, name is equal to inverted comma last name, inverted comma closed, value is equal to inverted comma shah, inverted comma closed, break. Input type is equal to inverted comma submit, inverted comma closed, value is equal to Inverted comma, submit, inverted comma, close. Input type is equal to inverted comma, reset, inverted comma, closed, closing form. The input type is equal to inverted comma, reset, inverted comma, closed, defines a reset button that will reset all form values to their default value. This is how you can design form in the website and also include submit as well as reset button to input and reset the data. Hope you had a good understanding of the above input elements.